Tonight, there are two coaches. Both have an outstanding history with Halifax County Schools. And we would like to present to you, in no special order, the two recipients for the Hall of Fame coaches inductees. So which one would you like to do? Oh, let me try with our first inductee, Coach Charles Chamberlain. <laughs> Mr. Chamberlain coached basketball, girls basketball, baseball. He was the assistant coach. Um, he coached baseball from 1972, the year I was born, to 1984. He was the coach of the year from 1973 to 1975, and then again from 1978 to 1984. Ladies and gentlemen, Coach Charles Chambliss. First of all, I would like to thank the selection committee and Superintendent Cunningham for establishing the Halifax County Schools Hall of Fame and for my selection. Second, I would like to thank my family and family members for being here tonight. You know, behind every good coach is a wife who uh, every weekend on Saturdays we have a clothes line full of uniforms, those kind of things. So, take, and of course, she get, when I got home, she got to relive the ball games. And I looked at, I just told Paula a while ago, she's the reason I, always, I never came in first place. And the Jeffers girls and so forth. But anyway, today I'll, I look back, I think back to 1972 when I first started coaching. Mr. Coop, we asked for uniforms and they bought us some 100% wool uniforms. <laughs> On the back of the uniforms that had Bobby's Supermarket, Joe's SO station, you know, that's, you know, as local sponsors. So that was a tough year, but we, we soon, we moved forward. Also, I think back when we first moved to the new, and we call it the new Northwest the following year. When we first moved there, there was four buildings. It was the 400, the 500, the administration, and the library and student commerce. That's right, no lunch rooms, no gyms, no athletic fields. You know, it was the beginning. It was the new Northwest. One day I walked in and asked the principal, I said, sir, could you please tell me where the baseball field is? He said, well, we own 88, 88 acres of land. Pick a spot. <laughs> Truly, we have come a long way, baby, Mr. Cooper. In my 15 years of coaching at Northwest assistant football, I still say, Vernon, you the best football player ever come through Northwest. <laughs> Girls basketball, go overboard, you the best basketball player that ever come through Northwest. Baseball, got several of those, and athletic director. Afterwards, I served as a school administrator, and I was fortunate enough to start at Enfield Middle School with the godfather of education, Mr. Claude Cooper, who I consider as one of my mentors. Southeast High School in Boyden and McGava, and later as assistant superintendent where athletics was under my direction as a system-wide athletic director. So athletics has always been a very important part of my life. Being here today and seeing so many players and coaches I had the opportunity to work and watch play gives me so many great lifelong memories. For that, I thank all of you. Finally, in my 40 years working for Halifax County School, being selected to the Halifax County Hall of Fame is an honor for which I am proud and appreciative. Thank you. <laughs> 